We're talking about food. It's time for Campus Cuisine. And all this week, chefs from colleges across Connecticut are joining us in our Better Kitchen to show off some of the great food that they are serving up for students. I think I want to go back. Having seen yesterday and now today, I want to go back to college yeah. just to eat, Scott. Today, our chef comes from the University of Connecticut. UConn is ranked as one of the 25, top 25 public universities in the country, coming in at number 22, according to U.S. News and World Report. The school's dining service is actually a rank number three in the top 30 college. Wow. I'm proud of that. All right, so if this is what they're serving at UConn, I'm going back to school. I don't have to go to law school. I don't have to go to graduate school. I'm going to have to go back to some school so I can eat this. We'll hire you. You can work in our kitchens. I, I would work in the kitchen if this was the if this was the pay. You I can learn some of this cuisine that we're serving. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? So this is what the kids are eating. This is what they're eating. This is actually a fusion bowl. And what we're doing is we belong to Menus of Change, which is basically plant forward, more fruits and vegetables, smaller portions of meat proteins. So this is a grain bar, and these are all whole grains right here. You've got rice. You've got this is a pearled sorghum. Okay. Some sorghum? chewy sorghum. Is yep. that gluten free also? It's gluten free, exactly. Okay. And, and I know you were one of the first on, uh, to create the gluten free bakery. We do. We have our own gluten free bakery on campus. I think we're the only co only college and university in the country. This I try is great this for at home yeah, too, because bowl dinners are really big right now because you just assemble. Exactly. And, and what you're doing is basically, you know, I can go through this with you. What we're doing is we're making a quick little oh, dressing here. Mm. So olive oil. We got a little rice vinegar, a little soy sauce, some sesame oil, because those aren't even flavored yet. A little bit of honey we'll put in there. So that's the issue. If you don't flavor the rice bowl, hey. it's going to turn, it's going to be very bland. Layers of flavors. What's that's that? going to be the key. This is a little bit of miso paste. Oh. Miso. Miso, which is actually a fermented soybean. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what we would do is we would just mix this up, and this is basically our dressing. This is what we're going to dress our grains with to give them a little bit of flavor. How, how do you feed all of the students at UConn at the same time? I mean, they all want lunch at around noon. They all want dinner around five or six. How do you do that? Okay, so we have eight residential dining halls, oh, and we have literally, we're talking a really talented team. There's like 400 and something on staff. There's 150 chefs. We've got a talented management team, you know, kitchen assistants, you name it. We all come together and they work really hard all day long to make sure the kids are eating healthy food and that we're meeting all the dietary needs as well because that's big on campuses today. So part of it, I guess you just have to be efficient. We're all trying at home too and it seems difficult to, is this one of the easy things that you're just trying to do something you can do large quantities but then exactly. allow people to so, personalize? So when we do this, we're doing on large quantities, big hotel pans, and the students can actually go down and build their own bowl. So what they would do is they'd actually come along and pick yeah. up a bowl, and you know, they can say, oh, you know, what kind of grains do I want? I want a little bit of uh, pearled sorghum, a little bit of quinoa, and then they can go through and kind of pick whatever they want. You know, this is um, some spinach right here with garlic, some Brussels sprouts. This right here is actually pickled cabbage and carrots. Mm -hmm. So it's in some vinegar, some sugar, and so this is this is what makes it great. And and again, when you get to the end, you know we have things like this is chicken thighs, dry rubbed, slow roasted. This is a little bit of tofu with tomatoes and basil. Didn't Tra you eat like this? Yeah, Tracy, our producer, is asking us, didn't we eat this in college? In college, again, I had the round plastic things with cereal in them, and I used to lift the handle, and the cereal would come into the bowl. The closest thing to this, I remember, they were that was it. That was it. Dinner, exactly. Breakfast, exactly. dinner, it didn't make a difference what time of the day it was. I remember there was always rice and beans, but that was as close as people got to this. And, and that's still real popular. You know, what we're finding is the students today, one, they're looking for really authentic ethnic type foods. Okay. You know, they want Flavorful. cuisine from around the world. And we have students from literally all over the world. So when you look at our menus, we have food from, you know, whether it's a Vietnamese, whether it's Korean, whether it's, um, you know, Puerto Rican, you name it, we've got foods from all over the world and the kids love it. Every day is a different menu in all our residential dining halls. Wow. Yeah, and so, so it's 185,000 meals a week. A hundred, say that again? 185,000 meals a week. Could you imagine? So are you getting rid of the freshman 15 because you're feeding them so healthy? Well, you know, again, <laughs> you know, when you look at these foods right here though, exactly, that's our goal. Our goal is to literally, you know, if we can change the way they eat in college, what's gonna happen? Well, there might be less diabetes less obesity, yeah. lower cholesterol. But we're, we're, we're not just dining services. We don't just feed the students, we're educating the students. We're changing the way they eat every day. As an adult, do I have to be matriculated in order to get the food? Can I just sign up for the meal plan? You can buy a community plan. Well, tell me about that. So what it is, is you can basically go to dining services and you buy a card, and let's say it has 30 meals on it, and they don't expire. You can just go whenever you want into one of them. You don't have to be a student? Nope. You need that. It's you need to find need. the college near exactly. you and just go eat dinner every night with them. You want with to this kind of food? I'm driving to stores. I, I don't care. <laughs> That's right, so should we make our own bowl <laughs> yeah, and so, talk about the so dessert? Make your own bowls.
while you jump right in there. All right, so and this over here, I, I want to try here. the quinoa. So, so we do have our own bakery on campus, and yeah, we're open seven days a week, 23 hours a day. Seven days a week, 23 hours a day. So if they have a craving a for some chocolate in the middle of the night after they're studying, they can get something. It, it, there, there's stuff available all the time. And, and when you look at these things, they do their own breads. These are cool little cupcakes. We're actually putting little husky paw prints on, little husky bones. And you're baking your own breads? Yes. That is remarkable. And it goes out to all the dining facilities every single day. Oh, so they have these baked goods also to choose from at the dining hall? Yes. Wow. Yep. And, and we, like I said, you know, you look at this, the variety that we offer, you know, this over here is a raspberry cheesecake. We do our own cannolis. This right here is a macaroon dipped in chocolate. So every day there's a whole different variety of desserts for the students. So we try to change it up. And we try to do a lot with like local ingredients as well. Uh, people don't realize we're the largest user of Connecticut grown produce. You are? To, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, you know, so I'm like, just going to try know. a little bit of this and then we'll have it. But I'm actually just thinking this could transform dinner at home. If you just did a lot of that on Sunday and put it out, everyone can make and their own bowls and every What you day. can do is you wrap it all up in your fridge yeah. and then you just pull it right out. You can microwave it Here or you, you can go. eat it cold. You can do a cold bowl. That's just as easy. It's right. so good. Mwah. And you can eat different every day. Uh, uh, to learn about all the courses of study and, of course, the courses of food that UConn has to offer, maybe you want that meal plan, <laughs> head to UConn.edu.